What's up guys, this is your boy DZD, aka The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios yet again. Quick shout out to you guys for tuning in on this video, thank you so much for supporting. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have some hot content that I'm going to be dropping for you. I also want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my sample pack, the Iconic Chord Sample Pack. It is available on my website. Thank you guys so much for downloading that, thank you guys so much for your feedback, I really appreciate it. For all you guys that showed that support, I have the Iconic Chords 2 sample pack coming very soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification, that way you can be up to date when I drop that video. I got a really good video for you guys today, trust me, this video you're going to love. Inside of the NPC software, as we all know, and for those of you that don't know, you can only use 4 slots for your effects. No matter what track you're using, no matter what pad you're affecting, no matter what channel you're affecting, you just have those four slots for four plugins, so that's all you can use to get your task accomplished. I'm going to show you guys how to add more slots, that way you can have more effects on your tracks. Yes, I said it, more effects on your tracks. Sometimes you want to do a little bit more processing. Sometimes you want to do all of your processing inside of the MPC software. Sometimes you just need that one extra slot just for that one plugin that you can add to your effects chain. I'm going to show you how to get that done. So without saying too much, let's jump right into the video, guys. Okay, we are now inside the MPC software with the beat loaded up. And I'm going to give you a good idea of this beat and what it sounds like. This is a beat that I did a beat making video on a few, uh, few days ago. So I used uh, what we're going to be talking about. I used it for this specific beat. So let me let you hear what that sounds like. Nice sounding beat. Um, so this is going to go by pretty quickly. Anything that you have questions on, by all means, leave me a comment and I'll try and uh, help you out as much as I can. Uh, for this particular tutorial, we're going to be working in the mixer of the MPC software. So let's pull that up. Uh, let's resize that to where we can see everything. Okay, now we have all our tracks here. Uh, up top is our drum tracks, just a few drum tracks. And then we have all of our audio tracks here. Now the tracks that we're going to be paying most attention to is the uh, 808 tracks. I have one here that's 8081 and I have one here that's 8082. These are the same exact tracks. One track has our processing and the other track has the plugin that I'm going to tell you about. So this is our processing that I did to get my 808 to, uh, to punch through the mix how I wanted it to be. For you guys that want a tutorial on how I process my 808s, I know a lot of guys, uh, that's a question out there that a lot of people ask, and uh, I don't mind showing you guys how I process my 808s. Um, if you want, just leave me a comment. If enough people ask, then definitely I'll get a video out to you guys and show you how I get that done. But these are the plugins that I have. I'll pull them up. This is a, this is a, this is a, a mono plugin. Um, this is a bass plugin. Uh, this is my transient plugin, and then this is the EQ that I kind of shape out my 808 with. So that's the four plugins that I need. Now, fortunately, all I needed was just four slots for, to get these plugins on here. But what if I needed a fifth? What if I needed a sixth slot? As we know, the MPC software allows four slots for your plugins to be to uh, to do what they have to do, and it's pre-fader before the fader down here. So you put the plugins on, they pass through, the sound passes through your plugins, and then it goes to your fader to where you can adjust the volume. But like I said, what if you need more of these slots? What if you want to do all of your process processing inside the MPC software? Well, that's where this plugin comes into play. It's called Patchworks, and it's by a company called Blue Cats. Now what this plugin does is it essentially gives you more slots to work with. See here in the pre-fader, this is where all of my plugins are. And if you notice, I have the same exact plugins that are on here. And that's what you can do. Let's pull up the plugins. You just hit the, this is how you turn them off and on. Same way on the MPC software. Let's turn them back on. Same way on the MPC software. This is how you turn the plugins off and on here. Or you can turn them all off up here. 
all off and on at the same time. So that's what this does here. And this gives you the window. The same way you can click on the plug in here and pull it up, like so. This does the same exact thing, the window here. It lets you pull up your plugin, just like that. So I have these plugins here, same exact plugins processing on this slot. And it gives me more slots if I want to add more plugins. And the way you do it is you just load up, you just hit the plugin, and then you hit load VST. It takes you to your VST plugins. So let's just pick something very quickly. What if I wanted to put um what if I wanted to put uh, a levels plugin on? It will pull up my levels plugin. There it is. If I wanted to do that. You know, so you just can add whatever plugins you need. You can turn them off and on how you want. You know, if you want to delete it, then you go to no plugin and you take it off. You know, you can copy plugins as well. Let's say I wanted to copy this this equality plugin. I can hit copy. Then I can go down here, click on it, and hit paste, and it puts that same plug in there. You know, so you can kind of, you can do everything very efficiently in this plugin, and it gives you a lot more slots to work with. You know, now here's what makes this plugin so so nice. It has a parallel chain processing se section here, and this means that you can process the same exact plugins if you'd like. You can process them parallel to each other, which means it's gonna send sound. It's it's gonna send the signal through all of these plugins straight down the line and then you get to mix with this knob how much of the of the plugin of all of these plugins you want to mix in with the signal and it's truly amazing you know and this is something that I use you can even solo the plugins if you want here you can solo um, you can hit this and then it'll solo in safe mode to where it only solos just one or you can take it off and solo as many as you want you know it's amazing there's a phase shift here if you want to shift the phase, if you have any phase shift issues to where your sounds are canceling out, you know, and that's just a few of the small things that I use this plugin for. It does a lot more than what I'm showing you here. It does a lot more. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link to Blue Cat's actual video for this plugin. I'll leave it in the video description that way you guys can check out in detail what this plugin does. But this is all this is pretty much what I use it for, just to get more plugins on a track and process them the way I want. And it works the same way. I'm going to show you how that works. There is no sound difference at all because it processes the same exact plugin. So as I said before, we have our 8081 track and then we have our Blue Cats 8082 track, the patchwork track. So we have the patchwork track muted. So we're going to play this 808 here. I'm going to play it with just this 8081 playing and then you can hear then I'm going to play it with this 8082, the Blue Cat. A patchwork track. I'm going to play it with that one. And you're going to see that there's no difference between the sound at all because it's processing the same exact plugins. Let's take a listen. Let's turn on, let's mute this one and unmute the Blue Cats. So as you can see, there's absolutely no difference at all in the sound quality. It's the same exact plugins that's processing in this uh, this plugin. It just literally gives you more slots so you can put more plugins on. Now, for you guys that use Wave plugins, don't worry, I got you covered. Sometimes the Wave plugins don't work that well in the MPC software. I know what the deal is on that, but don't worry because I got you covered. I have the SSL compressor plugin running right here. Let's pull that up. There you go. There's your wave plugins. Uh, I'll show you how I do that. I load the VST, hit load VST. I go to, I think I have my plugins in this, my wave. You go to the wave shell folder, and there are all your plugins here for your waves, for my waves. Uh, let's say I want to put a, a mono, uh, the CLA 2A on. I can hit that, then hit OK, and there it is. It loads right up and it processes the sound going through it. So there it is guys. 
Really, really good plugin. Very, very simple to use uh, for what I use it for. As I said, this plugin does a host of other things. But if you check out Blue Cat's video, definitely you will get to see what this plugin does and how it uh, how it, it uh, intensifies your workflow. But this is just simply what I use it for in the MPC software, just to get more plugins on your track. It's a very very good plugin, very easy to use. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. That concludes the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really really appreciate your support. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that thumbs up button if you found this video of any value to you. I have a lot more content that's coming to you and hopefully I can get it out to you in a timely fashion. So I appreciate you guys' support on it. As I said, a link to this plugin will be listed in the video description. That way you can go check it out along with a video to where you can go check out more of what this plugin has to offer. If you have any questions, hit me up, leave me a comment. I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram at The Drink Hang, and also follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Dungeon Palace Studios. I post a lot of content there and I would love to interact with you guys. So by all means, hit me up. Once again, this is your boy DZD, aka The Drink Hang, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios. I will check you guys in the next video. Take care.